Today's video is thanks to a YouTube viewer who sent me this right here. It is an uh, angle adjustment for the cross slide. So it would put there, cross slide on top of that, and then you would be able to make precise angles. The viewer had it mailed straight to me. If you want to make any donations to my videos, you can do that by going to my YouTube homepage. And I believe it would be in the upper right. Well, there's a square section on that page that talks about making a donation uh, to help me have fun while I'm suffering from Crohn's disease. Uh, you can make donations like a dollar, ten dollars, hundred dollars, whatever you please. If these videos are educational, make you happy, and learn how to use your unit, you can make a donation. Right now we're going to uh, put together this adjustment on this cross slide like shown on page 33 of your book if you have bought this item already or if you're just looking to purchase one of these for a Christmas gift for yourself or others or have recently got one of these as a Christmas gift and you want to learn how to do it and learn from my mistakes before you do it alright so uh, if you've seen the previous video this is quite easy uh, Right now we'll take a break and put up that list of parts that you'll need. Grab those, come back. You already got them? Wow, all right, good work. So, we will need uh, these four bolts or screws and yep that allen wrench there are four allen heads on here to remove this cover as you can see it's quite thick you don't really have to back them out too far and it just pops right off So, as usual, hit the three corners with these, let's put the threaded end on the outside. Get it lined up with three holes. And once again, thanks for the magnetic tip on the screwdriver. Makes life easy. Well, it's going to be a lot easier if you have the screw holes on the inside this time. Where they have positioned the holes for this unit. Whoops! Ah, long drop. So put those on the inside.
there. It looks like it's lined up. Well, for the sake of this video and not having to use the power of editing, we will skip this one, find out what's wrong with it later. It's in there. Tighten those two down. All right. Now I've already removed the, uh, I'll disassemble the cross slide assembly and have the base here. And it only uses two holes. Well, it has three holes, but they're not all lined up. You can see I can't really get all three of them perfect, so that's why the instruction book went with just two screws. Don't know why they couldn't make that right. Put those two in nice and tight and as you uh, recall earlier from the cross side angle assembly uh, to put this back together get it until those threads can crank it in Crank it in. Whoop. That is the rotation that unthreads this handle. So you gotta let that handle slide through your hand. Not hold it and let it is can set it in there give all these a spin so they are flush don't want to tighten them you don't want them to be tight or else you will not be able to get an angle Once it's straight, there you go, there is the uh, index mark, be able to rotate it, and one Allen wrench locks it up pretty good. So according to the uh, marks, that's zero degrees, that's 45, so zero from where it is on the cross slide. Uh, probably uh, when you want to, when you build this yourself, put zero where you want zero to be. Of course you saw there were three holes there so you've got an angle and they have got it pretty much well centered there so you can bring zero back to there where it should be but there it is and there's a mistake that I made not getting an angle correct so I can use that without having to think what angle but there it is so 
So you've got a couple different directions. Now you can buy another cross slide and put it down here. So you've got the X and Y cross slide and then you can put this one up to get your angles. Uh, however much you need to move it around. This will be nice when we get the milling machine built, put together, put the vise on here and do some uh, cuts at different angles. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.